why referring to yourself as a non-smoker when you try to quit actually keeps you stuck. If you're curious and you want to know why that's a problem or why that's an issue, or even more importantly, if you want to know what should you do and how should you refer to yourself when you quit smoking to be successful, then stay to the end of this video because I'm going to show you exactly how you should refer to yourself if you're quitting smoking. I'm going to simply show you how to reframe the I'm a non-smoker so that you can be successful at your quit smoking journey. I'm also going to put a link in the description below where you can put yourself in my calendar for a free 15 minute phone consultation. I'll simply get you on the right track to quit smoking for the rest of your life. It's a conversation. It's easy. It's fun and it's free. So take advantage of it. If you are new to this channel, then please subscribe, especially if you're interested in tips, tricks, and hacks on how to quit smoking for the rest of your life. You will get all of that in this channel and more. And make sure you hit the notification button. It simply tells you when I post new content and I post two new pieces of content to this channel every week. So let's jump right in. Why is it a bad idea to refer to ourselves as a non-smoker when we try to quit smoking? Here's why it has to do with identity, the way that we create an identity for ourselves. So first, I'm just going to describe to you what is identity so that we have a baseline to go from, to build upon, to how do we create a successful identity? Because I'm going to explain to you how the identity of I am now a non-smoker is a terrible idea and it's going to keep you stuck. So identity or sometimes it's often referred to as self-identity. Self-identity refers to stable and prominent aspects of one's self-perception. That's a terrible definition, but if you Google it, that's what you're going to find. It's basically, I think of myself as a green consumer. So I'm basically referring to a part of my, or an aspect of myself, my self-perception as an identity. So here's a, a better definition. Identity is the qualities or beliefs or your personality, your looks and expressions that make you a person. Let's deconstruct that to make it even simpler. It's basically identity is a psychological thing that relates to self-image. It's a mental model of ourself. That's all identity is. All identity is a model that we create of ourself. That's it. It's really no more complex than that. Here's what we know about identity when we create identities for ourselves. It's often determined by the language we use and how we frame our thoughts about ourselves. So language and thoughts in our mind create and craft our identity. So the question becomes, so does calling ourselves a non-smoker, does it help or does it hinder? That becomes the question. So let's just take a step back and really look at this. Identity is constructed in our minds, not only through language, but how we frame reality, as I just explained. So your identity is a direct reflection of how you frame your world. Here's how we do it. The best way to think of this is this expression. The map is not the territory. What does that mean? Here's what it means. It all has to do with the way we create meaning in our mind. Our mind's job is to create meaning. So all of our meaning and all of the maps of our reality exist in our mind. And so as we bring information in, we create a map using meaning of our experiences to create a map of the outside world. So the outside world between you and me is the territory and you're gonna make your own map and I'm gonna make my own map of the territory between us or of our experience. It's why we can both see the same thing and have different thoughts about the reality or the territory between us. It is why eyewitness testimony is not that valid in court because we understand the psychology of the human brain. We take in the territory, the reality, the experience, we create meaning in our head and we create a map. That's how our brain actually works. The territory 
is the actual reality. And this happens when we're a smoker. So when we think to ourselves, I'm a non-smoker, what are we doing? We're creating a map in our head, an identity of ourselves as a non-smoker. Now that may sound at first blush as a good idea, but does framing our map of ourselves as a non-smoker, does it really help us or does it hinder us? Well, here's the issue. When we refer ourselves as a non-smoker, it has smoking built into the identity. We are still identifying ourselves as a smoker. Even if it is in the context as a past smoker, we still have in there the self-constructed identity as a smoker. And it keeps us stuck. It is why people who fail at quitting smoking, they'll often refer to themselves as a non-smoker. And then they'll quit and they'll be smoking again a month later. People who quit 10 years ago and they don't smoke anymore, they don't refer to themselves as a non-smoker, do they? They just say, I don't smoke. They don't frame their reality, their map and the meaning of who they are and their identity in their head isn't as a former smoker. It doesn't have smoking built into it. So if we shouldn't refer to ourselves as a non-smoker because what it does is it puts in our brain that smoking is part of our identity, if that's a bad idea, if it hinders us, well, how should we refer to ourselves? We should just simply say, I don't smoke. Here's why. We don't want to construct any identity that has smoking built into it. We want to construct an identity that is simply that we don't smoke. So here's all you need to do. Whenever you quit smoking and you have to, for some reason, in a conversation with someone, talk about the smoking, you are simply just going to say, I don't smoke. You are not going to refer to yourself as a non-smoker. Here's why. And here's why referring to yourself as a non-smoker is actually kind of insane if you actually think about this and think through it logically. So, do you believe in Santa Claus? Yes or no? Now I get it, a lot of people, yes, I believe for my kids, but I mean, like, do you really believe? Like, do you actually really believe there's a guy with a white beard at the North Pole who makes presents and has elves and delivers them? Do you actually honestly believe that in reality? No, you don't, do you? Are you a non-Santa Clausist? No, you're not, are you? I mean, it's silly, isn't it? Do you believe in the Tooth Fairy? Do you actually really and honestly believe in the Tooth Fairy? No, you don't. Are you a non-tooth fairyist? See, it's silly and it's stupid. We do not refer to ourselves as things that we are not. So why would you do it as a smoker? Why would you refer to yourself as a non-smoker? You're not a non-smoker. You just don't smoke anymore. Saying that you are a non-smoker is a self-constructed identity that has failure built into it. So it actually is not helping us. It's a hindrance. So the question I pose right at the top, which was, does, is referring to ourselves as a non-smoker helpful or a hindrance? It's a hindrance and not a good idea if you want to be successful. How should you refer to yourself? Simply say, I don't smoke. If this video was helpful, and if you want to take advantage of that link I put in the bottom to a uh, free 50-minute phone conversation with me, Please do. It's easy. It's fun. I'll simply get on the right track to clean smoking for life. If this video was helpful and you want more tips, tricks, and hacks on how to quit smoking for the rest of your life, then subscribe to the channel and please share and like the content. Also, you can join my Facebook group or you can join my Instagram page. I give tons of free tips, tricks, and hacks every week on how to quit smoking for the rest of your life. Thank you so much for your time and blessings to everyone. I will talk to you soon.